So you wanna learn how to do a pull up. Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you the critical exercise that most people leave out of their training that prevents them from ever being able to master a proper chest to bar pull up. And stick around to the end because I'm also gonna teach you how to progress from the beginner versions of this right through to the advanced progressions. All that and more coming up. The gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image. Now the number one thing that people miss when doing a pull up is learning how to depress the scapula. So if you look at my shoulder blades here, that is called scapular depression. So that's scapular elevation, scapular depression. And what most people are doing when they do a pull up is that their shoulders are elevated and they're pulling from here. It's all arms. There's very little recruitment of the lat and of the muscles in the back that control the scapula. So what we wanna do, if you wanna be able to do a chest bar pull up, which is a proper pull up like this, then you need to understand how to control your scapula so that you can depress it down like this. And the way we do that is through what we call scap pull-ins. So, we're gonna grab onto the bar like this, pull down, hold for three seconds, and relax. And then again, up, one, two, three, relax. One, two, Three, and what you want to do, you want to really control that movement. You don't want to see any jerking around. So we want to come up with strength, hold for three seconds, and then down with control. Pull as high as you can possibly go. Never let your elbows bend. You are not trying to pull with your arms. If your elbows bend at all, you're doing it wrong. Now, as I promised you as well at the start of the video, I told you guys how you can progress from a beginner variation to an advanced variation. For the beginner variation, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna use the gymnastic rings. Doesn't really matter what we're using, if it's a gymnastic rings or a chin-up bar, but the only reason I've gone here is because of the height of the gymnastic rings allows me to get my feet on the ground. So for a beginner progression, I'm gonna have my feet on the ground like this. I'm gonna pull up, hold for three seconds, and back down. It is critical that you can pull up all the way and hold yourself. We don't wanna see this. That's not enough. You need to be able to get, look at my shoulder blades. You need to be able to get full depression in the scapula. And then if we want to go to the more advanced variations, if we come back to the chin up bar over here. When you get good enough, you want to, you want to be able to do 10 reps of the bilateral scap pull-in. So bilateral means both arms together before you even try this. And then from here, we're gonna do a single arm. Okay, so what I'm looking for there is that my shoulders get completely level to the ground when I do that. And I wanna uh, not only depress the scapula, but retract it. So depression like this, retraction pulling into the spine like that. Once you can do 10 reps of the bilateral scap pull-ins, then you can progress to doing the single arm one with your feet on the ground, or you can do finger assisted. So you could grab one like this with two fingers or one finger and do the movement like that. So you're just helping a little bit and then you'll eventually be able to do it with one arm. Master those movements and your pull up is going to go through the roof, literally. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more like that, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to make sure you get notified each time we post something new. And if you haven't already done so, grab a copy of our free flexibility group blueprint. This is by far the most important thing that's going to help you learn gymnastics and calisthenics training and unlock those awesome weightlifting movements that are hidden behind advanced flexibility. You can click the link in the description here and download your free copy now. Until next time, have a great day. Doesn't stop you,